Good morning. Hello. You look so dead. <laughs> Jess here, you might remember me from previous episodes, if you have been up to date. Why would you forget, right? So it's 6.30, okay, this is good morning. So we got about three hours sleep last night from editing, which I was a really good help for, right? And so this morning, we're going to send Lachlan to the airport, because guess what? He's going off to Melbourne for his Australian Gymnastics Championship. Woo! Already here, so... My plan is get to Melbourne, get to the hotel, go to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and sleep as well. Nice. I do shift work, so three hours is pretty good. Yeah, I feel okay. I just know that I need to sleep more. Mainly for like physical recovery. So I think the plan for today is no training, it's just a travel day. So I think I'll just have a lot of time to sleep, which is good. Most of his bags are like tripods and lights, and I think he had to get like an extra 15 kilos for that. Yeah. Just for you guys. <laughs> yeah. And me, I watch them too. Anyway, what's for breakfast? Um, I'm having a 5.4 meal. Having a double meal? I'm having a bit of uh, this. Which is for my parents, actually. That does not look good Thanks, like that. Thanks, Mrs. Walker. And I figured because this is very, very healthy. It's just like vegetables and a little bit of meat. Um, and it's just a good thing to have. He didn't even have butter in his fridge. He had coconut butter, just to be healthy. Yeah. It's not too bad. Mmm, mmm, mmm. How good does that smell? It just mm. smells like health, guys. It smells like ministry soup. I wasn't sleeping on my pillows. How weird is that? You weren't sleeping with pillows. Mm. And yet I was using like some Oops. couch pillow. <laughs> what I've been doing recently is no pillows, just sleeping on my back. So my neck and back is flat. Like it's healthy, right? Dedication. And Apparently that makes you a bit more flexible as well, if you don't use a pillow. So I've started when I first get into bed, just lying on my back without a pillow. And then when I get to a point I'm about to pass out, if I want to be more comfortable, then I just do what I normally do. But every time I'm getting more comfortable just in that position. Training myself, guys, to sleep differently. All right, we better. You guys enjoying us watching this eat? I'm actually such a pig. We just don't have time to eat politely. We just made it to the airport, guys. What is it like? Seven o'clock? Seven? 20? I think it's seven. No. Oh no, it's eight. eight. Yeah. eight. Oh, I'm a bit We're on time. Here we are. Can't believe this is happening. Okay, I just want to sleep. I'm thinking a bit slower than usual. That's for sure. Like Jess will ask me a question, and I'll be like. Thank you very much for the ride. Very, very good luck. Kind of you. Thank you. You better perform. Yeah. All this training for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where we say goodbye to Jess, guys. There's no more of me anymore because you'll be in Melbourne yeah. until the vlog finishes. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Here with my main man, Arthur. What's up, guys? Yeah. Both flying to Melbourne together. Uh, very like a good mate. Come on, I yeah, go way back. That gives you that airport feel. Yeah, he's uh, very kindly going to be supporting me, cheering me on. Oh, I'm pumped. He's got his pom poms in his bag, no doubt. I also love that you're wearing this. Yeah, uh, this. Trip. I remember last time we were in Melbourne. Oh, you do? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we're going to jump on the plane now. It's right there. Good, good plane this one, the uh, 777. Look at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just going to tell Arthur something and I figured why not tell you guys as well. When I was going through the security, it was pretty funny because I got these film lights, the camera, the microphone, yeah. all these obscure things, my, my gym grips, things like that that you wouldn't normally see. <coughs> And like my bag goes through and she's like, is this your bag? And then like, 
opens it up and she's like, what are these, like the lights? And so we have to scan it again, she scans it again, and she pulls out the mic, she's like, what's this? Oh, wow, that's and hilarious. Like the and I'm like, How long did the whole thing take? It's like, it had to do it like three times, wow. maybe like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. alright, well that's good you got here early. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. Oh, As you certainly, guys. please ensure that all carry on. We just arrived at the hotel. Yep. I'm going to try and sleep. I'm super tired. So today's going to be really chill. Sleep. Yeah. Eat. Sleep. So, it's just revealed to me that I can't check in until 3.30. It's about 1.30 now, so two hours. I just want to sleep. But i got to make the most of the time I have. So what I'm going to do instead is... Boom. Edit. Let's keep editing for the next two hours. I do get the vlog from yesterday completed. And that way, at 3.30, I'll just go straight to bed. Definitely not ideal. You should definitely sleep properly up to a competition. Obviously, it's very important. Anyway, that's just where I'm at, you guys. Making the most of my editing, getting it done now, so that I can sleep properly in a bed rather than trying to sleep on a couch, not sleeping very well, and also not editing. Boys, we finally made it. This is my apartment, and I can't tell you how keen I am to sleep. I figure I'll show you it real quick. I mean, it's pretty, pretty standard TV, which we're definitely not gonna be using while we're here. Um, we've got some food over here. Uh, stove, which I don't plan on using either. Here's, here's what is important. Here's where the magic happened, guys. I'm sharing my room with Corey Den. Level 8 open. Quite a beast on the floor, I must say. And the vault. Uh, we'll meet him later. He hasn't arrived yet, so I'll intro you guys to him. The bathroom is just through here. Got a uh, bath for us, baths right here. I just booked in for the physio at 4.40. Uh, my forearms are a little bit tight. There's leftovers from when I had tendonitis a year or two ago. Um, so they're getting better and better, but obviously it just helps to have them professionally massaged out. And it'll just help me be pumped for tomorrow. My plan is now, it's about three o'clock. I'm gonna sleep until wake up, go to the physio. That's pretty awesome. Then go to dinner and then probably go to bed. Go to sleep. Oh. <laughs> uh, here with Daniel, here, boy, fellow teammate of the Seven Opens. We're here tonight just watching the seniors to get us pumped up for our comp tomorrow morning. So it's pretty, oh man, it's still there. <laughs> That's so yuck. We're watching the seniors tonight, they're getting us pumped up. First time being like in this arena, and it's looking pretty good. How are you feeling, man? Good. Yeah. New South Wales gonna take out the seven open. Yeah, hopefully. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yes, yeah, sweet. This is such a good way to get you uh, psyched up. Just being here. Yeah. Like actually, when I walked in, I got a bit of a, a little adrenaline rush, even though yeah. I'm not competing tonight. Just seeing it. So yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's good to watch. Um, and we got the rest of the team. Get a little bicep flex in there, mate. Hey! <laughs> we just got into the uh, back to the hotel after that session. Really good inspiration, and look who I bumped into. It's me! Yeah. <laughs> this guy's a natural, isn't he? Getting bigger every day, mate. Is there a rough room? We can, we can squeeze we in. We're gonna get in there, boys. We can... Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 I just got kicked out for being too massive, essentially. Sorry boys, I have to go in by myself. <laughs> Back in the hotel room now. It's about 10 p.m. Gotta wake up at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow for the first day of competition. So I really just wanna go to bed as soon as I can. Having a quick meal, like a really small meal. Just some wheat bix actually. Um, missing the 5.4 meals actually. I didn't bring any with me, unfortunately. Anyway, eating now, and then I'm gonna go to bed wake up for the day so hope you guys enjoyed this day of traveling and no training i always love to put training in but there's literally no training today just getting to
to Melbourne. So psyched though, just seeing the gym is epic. It's the first time I'll be competing in a proper podium set up with the, each apparatus on a raised platform. I feel like that alone is going to make you perform better because it's just a bigger deal and more professional. So really excited for comp tomorrow. It might not look like because I'm really tired, but I'm just going to sleep and then get ridiculously psyched tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you guys for tomorrow's 